Hi, it's Dot. And with the holidays fast approaching, I thought we'd make a traditional dish, cranberry sauce, but we're gonna have a little bit of a twist. I'm adding orange and wine in my low carb kitchen. All right, just a quick heads up. My next door neighbor is either doing some jackhammering or is using a chainsaw for something in their house. I don't know what. So you might hear that from time to time, but we're going to push through and get through this. So what's going into this cranberry dish? Well, it's actually a mold cranberry and I got it from the Food Network magazine. I buy uh, cooking magazines because it gives me ideas of dishes. This is not a low carb dish in any way whatsoever. I'm going to make it low carb yay because I'm not going to put in as much sugar as that dish calls for but anyway it's a mold cranberry dish because I'm cooking it with wine with a red wine and I'm also as adding some spices to it and what I'm adding is I have some uh, peppercorn black peppercorn I'm using cloves whole cloves I'm using obviously a cinnamon stick I'm using a substitute sweetener but I'm going to use the peel from an orange just a few thick slices from this so and that's what's going to make it really really tasty and of course cranberries I'm using frozen cranberries you can use fresh or frozen it doesn't matter so with that let's go ahead and get ready and start working on the orange all right what you're going to use you want a trusty peeler and all you're going to do is take your peeler cut into it and just start peeling what you want to make sure and I'll actually close this up is you don't really you want to leave the white intact on here because otherwise it makes it bitter so you want to keep it as clean as possible I'm going to and you see I have a little bit of white here all I'm going to do is so you see is I'm just going to scrape that off because that's what makes that would make this bitter and you don't want to do that so I've scraped a little bit of it off so you want like three thick slices of this to go into your cranberry sauce so I'm gonna go ahead finish peeling this and then I'll show you how to make your little spice bag for the next part you want to basically put all of your seasonings since they're so small into a spice bag so we're gonna make one that's gonna go into the cranberry sauce while it cooks now all you need is cheesecloth now you want it clean and this is this is a clean cheesecloth it fell into the wine when I was pouring it so oops um, but I'm gonna use it that's perfectly fine you just want something big enough because your spices are gonna go in here so you're just gonna go ahead and add your cinnamon stick your orange I'm using about it comes out to about roughly four grams of orange peel fresh peel I'm gonna add in my cloves and then my peppercorns I want to be careful because I roll everywhere and then what I'm gonna do next is simply just take it and I'm just gonna seal it up and you just want cheesecloth because you want that flavor to come out so you want to try to get all of the potential openings and you're going to give it a twist and then you're going to take your kitchen twine which also got wine on it as well and then what you're simply going to do is you're going to tie it up and again you want to make sure you're using kitchen twine not yarn because yarns the dyes come off so kitchen twine you don't have to worry about anything bleeding into the cranberries there we go we have our little packet right here and so what I'm going to do is get cooking on the stove all right I got my cranberries in the pot I'm going to go ahead and add my wine in here I'm going to add my sugar my sweetener I should say it's not a sugar and I'm going to add a little bit of water you basically just want the water to come up about a third of the way up the cranberries so they don't have to be soaking in water covered so I'm going to do is turn on the heat to a medium and I want it to come to a simmer I'm going to stir this up a little bit to spread the sweetener around oh I almost forgot my spice bag goes in here as well so I'm going to put that right smack dab in there and what I'm going to do is stir this up a little bit I'm going to let it come to um, a gentle boil and I'm going to uh, let it just simmer and you want it to simmer for about 15 20 minutes because you you want the cranberries to soften and burst open that's really important so with that I'm going to just go ahead and stir this up a bit hey as you can see I have a nice simmer going on I did turn this down too low when it got a little too bubbly my cranberries are bursting they're not completely burst all the way but as you can see the liquid they're all it's also thickened quite a bit the nice point now if you want it to you can certainly taste the sauce to see if it's sweet enough or too, uh, if it's too sweet or not sweet enough that's really up to you how you want to do it you can always add in a few more cranberries if you need to also the pectin inside the cranberries which is why you want them to burst open the pectin is what makes it thicker 
So it, the cranberries do all the work for you. And they'll thicken even more once you take them off heat. So if you're making the, your sauce and you find it's too thick and your cranberries all haven't burst open, you can just add a little bit more water as you go if you want it to. But just keep in mind they do get thicker as you take them off heat. So I'm going to let this go for a few more minutes before I turn off the heat. All right, I took the cranberries off heat. It is, if you can tell, very, very thick, which is the way I like it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this cool. I'm going to actually put it in a container to go into a fridge to sit overnight with the spice pouch that I made. The spices stay in here until the next day. So I'm going to take them out in the morning. But right now, this is just too hot to go into the refrigerator. I'm going to let it cool down a little bit. And then with that, tomorrow, I will sample it. But I should have some delicious mulled cranberry sauce. All right, it is the next day. I let my cranberries sit in the fridge with the spouse spice pouch, I should say. It has thickened up just wonderfully. I'm gonna go ahead and take out the spice pouch and here it is. But you just sort of scrape off a little bit of the sauce and a little bit of the berries that are stuck to it. Put that away. And what I'm gonna do is give it a stir, but you can see how thick it is. It's nice and thick. I still have a few whole cranberries in there, which is nice, but they're softened, so you know it's cranberry sauce. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a taste, just a little taste. Mmm. I love the flavor. You can't really taste the wine. Well, you can't taste the wine. You taste the, the cranberries, but it has a nice sweetness, added sweetness to it because of the wine. If that makes sense, the cranberries still taste tart. They're still the star of this dish, but you get a little a little hint of the spice spices that I added to, especially the cinnamon and the cloves. It really does taste wonderful. And the other nice thing about it is, I know some of you have written to me about how you're not really a fan of uh, a lot of the low carb sweeteners because there's an aftertaste for you. The nice thing about this is that the tartness really does stand out if you're not using a whole lot of sugar because cranberries are naturally tart. So you really don't get that aftertaste. And with that, I hope you have a very happy and wonderful Thanksgiving. You can also make this during Christmas time too, so keep that in mind. If you like the video or you're new here, subscribe, give it a thumbs up. Also, if you wanna know when I'm posting vid videos, you wanna get alerted to it, just hit that little bell that's in the corner and you'll get an email alert. And with that, I'll see you next time.